In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called um, insert into a sorted circular linked list. So given a node from a circular linked list, which is sorted in a in, in sending, uh, ascending order, so write a function to insert a value, uh, insert value into the uh, list such that it remains a sorted circular linked list. So the given node can be a reference to any single angle in the list and might not be necessary to the, uh, the smallest value in the uh, in circular link list. So if there are multiple suitable places for insertion, you might choose any place to insert the new value. After the insertion, the circular, li uh, circular list must remain sorted. So here you can see, um, yeah, basically if the if the list is empty, you should create a new singly, uh, single circular link list and return the reference to that node. Otherwise, you should return the origin given, uh, original given node. So basically, we're given a link list and we want to insert this value. And in this case, the output is going to be here because, because we want to insert the value. After the, the value is being inserted in the link list, the list must be sorted. So in the figure above, there is a sorted uh, circular link list of three elements. And you can see that because this is sorted, the best place to add will be um, after one, right? Because we cannot add between four and three because that will, be, that will not be the, the place to add because the, the, the list will not be sorted. So the good place to add will be here. And because we're going this way, so this will be a sorted link list. And here you can see if it's null, then we're just going to create a link list, link list that points back to itself, right? And, and this is going to be the head, we're just going to return this node. And if there is only like one node, you can see there's only one node, we want to insert value zero, then what's going to happen is we're going to um, insert it um, after it's back. So in this case, we have one. We're going to get this node point to this node, and then we're going to get this node point back to the head node. So how can we solve this problem? So let's say here we want to insert um, node zero in this link list. What's going to happen is we're going to see if the current node and the current node dot nest dot val uh, so the current node dot nest node to see if this node is actually within those two nodes range. So in this case, both of node both both of those nodes. So the current node and the current node.nest are all bigger than the node that we want to insert. So in this case, we're going to move our pointer one to the right or one to the left, doesn't matter. But basically, we're going to check to see if this and here and here is the range that we want to insert. And we might get to a situation where both of those nodes are also bigger than this node right here. So how can we check to see if this is the node that this is the range that we want to insert? What we can do is we can see if the current node, so current node dot value is actually, if the current node dot value is actually bigger than current node dot nest, then we know that we have to check to see if um, if there's a situation where both nodes are less than or both nodes are bigger than this node, then we can then this will be the perfect position to insert, right? Like if both of those nodes are bigger than this node and the current node is bigger than current node dot nest then this, this is the maximum point and this is the minimum value, right? So if this is smaller than both of those values, then this will be a good place to insert. And if there's a situation where we have, let's say, five, right? This will also be a good position because the current is bigger than current.nest. And then both of those values are smaller than the node that we want to insert. And that's the case, then we can just insert here. And now we know, like, what are some ways to, what are some conditions to filter to to detect which place which range to insert now we talk now we want to talk more about how can we traverse the circular link list so to traverse the circular link list we can't just traverse you know from here to here and then just repeatedly right this like we could have a situation where you know we have no three we have no three we have another no three and this no three points back to this node right here so if that's the case, then we are going to get a time exceed error. So that's not going to be very helpful. So we, what we need to do is we have to traverse this link list once. And there are a couple ways to do this. One way is that because um, one way we can do this is we can use a slow pointer and a fast pointer. And then because I talked about this in the previous Lico video, 
where there's a Lico video that we did. It's called um, Detect if, the if This Link List is a Circular Link List. And I demonstrate how to use a slow pointer and a fast pointer to detect if this link list is a, is a circular link list. But um, the other way we can do is we can check to see if the current node.nest is equal to head. Because the head is given, right? This is the head. We're going to see if the current node, which is current node, is, is equal to head initially. And we're going to see if the current node.nest is equal to the head. If current node.nest is equal to the head, then that means that we 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 done traversing the entire link list. We don't we, we just on, we only want to traverse the link list once, right? So if the current node.nest is equal to head, then that means our job is done. Okay, same thing if we have only one node and this node points to this node, then in this case our job is done. We just traverse this node, that's it, right? So now let's talk about how we can do this in code. Our base case will be to if um, well, first we have to create our node, right? Because it doesn't matter if it's null, if the head is null, or there's only one node value we have to insert. So in this case, let's create a node. We're gonna pass it in based on this construction uh, constructor. We takes it takes a, a value, and it basically get the value is equal to the value, right? In this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in the insert value to the node and then what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if head is equal to null if the head is equal to null what we're going to do is we're going to get the um, what we're going to do is we're going to get um, node.nest is equal to node so we're going to get the node point to itself and then we just got to return node because that's going to be our head then what we're going to do is we're going to have our pointers which is called currents. So this current pointer basically points to the head. So now what we're gonna say is while current, right? Because we only want to traverse the link list once. So if current.nest does not equal to head, right? If that's the case, then what we're gonna do first is we're going to get our values to see if they are within the range. If this is the current, if the current node is actually the if, if the current range is actually the correct range to insert um, this node right here. So let's call the um, current V, so current stands for current val, so current.val. And then we're also going to get our um, the nest val. So the nest value is equal to current.nest.val. Okay, so what we're going to do is if current current val right if current val is uh, less than or equal to insert val right and the um, and the nest val so let's just do it this way so if insert val is less than or equal to nest val if that's the case uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to break, right? Because um, after we break, we know that, okay, this is the, so current node, current node is going to be the correct range. We found our correct range, we can just insert. Um, okay, so then what we're going to do is else if, else if current val, okay, is actually bigger than, is actually bigger than nest val, then if that's the case, then just like I mentioned before um, here, like if if we have a situation, let's say we want to insert zero, we have to make sure that this is the max and this is the min, right? So in this case, the current val is the max, and the nest val is the is the minimum. So we have to see. Um, so if current val, right, is so both of those value is um, bigger than insert val and nest v is bigger than or equal to insert val then what we're going to do is we're going to um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just going to break right and other, otherwise there could also be a situation where current val okay is um, is less than or equal to insert val there could also be another situation right so in this case nest value 
is less than or equal to insert val, and we can also break. Okay, so so yeah, basically uh, once we break, well, once we we, have, we forgot to do is we gotta move the current pointer one to the to nest to point to the nest node. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, swap, right? So we're gonna have our uh, temp node basically is equal to current dot nest, and we're gonna get the current dot nest is point to the node, and the node dot nest is gonna point to the temp, and then we're gonna return uh, head, right? So now let's try to run the code, see if we got the right answer. Okay, so these are the test case. And let's try to submit. Okay, so yeah, basically this is um, this is how we complete the problem, and you can see we have our success. So basically, um, as you can see, we're basically traversing the link list once. Like basically, we're traversing just uh, the circular link list once, and then in this case, the, the time complexity in this case is going to be linear. Okay. And um, the space complexity in this case is going to be constant because the, as, the, um, as the input increase, the space does not increase at all. So in this case, uh, the space complexity is constant and the time complexity in this case is linear.